Hey guys, we're sitting out here in Missouri. I wanted to uh, touch base with you guys and show you what we're doing to maintain some pieces of property in regards to uh, keeping everything mowed down. Um, I'm gonna cover some of my fence system there. I've got this particular piece of property. I've got some cattle on here as well. And uh, we've got several things that I'll cover here. But the number one thing I'll cover is this mower. Uh, this is the Swisher uh, rough cut it's essentially a belt driven brush hog and this thing works phenomenal as you guys can see um, I've already got a pretty good cut here um, this thing's got the capability of cutting a lot higher stuff but since this is I've got quite a bit of clover in here you can see back over in there there's quite a bit more um, but what I do is I try to just keep all this stuff maintained cut down in here let that, that clover continue to grow um, and it works out really well but this guy is the rough cut 44 inch uh, from Swisher. It's got the 11 and a half po uh, power motor um, on there from Briggs. And uh, what it's got, it's like I said, it's a belt system. And then you've got your uh, got your lever right here. So you got a key that turns it on. And then to get the uh, belt to spin, you're going to take this lever and push it down. And it just works out really good. I've used this mower for um, this thing. This is my eighth season. All I've done is just maintain it. Um, you know, oil. Uh, changing the oil out the belts about every year year and a half this works out really good and i've got a uh, i'm one of their ambassadors uh, so if you guys are looking to get one of these guys uh, you know they got this particular uh, mower they've got some bigger ones um i think up to go uh i think 60 inch uh, rough cut they got finished mowers they got everything but if you're looking for a uh, either a mower or a rough cut um, brush hog type thing to haul behind the four-wheeler utv uh, definitely check out swisher and if you'll call them uh, on any any item that is uh, regular price uh, it can't be factory directory on sale already but if you'll call them and uh, uh, tell them the promotion koam um, you should be able to save 30 percent on that and that works out really good you know for anybody that's wanting to get into that at a lower price um, but what my uh, what my plan is on this guy is i will uh, come back in here um, like this uh, fall, like I said, I got quite a, a good clover uh, stand right here. I'll come back in here, and then I'll be planting um, some of the uh, analogic food, food plot uh, this year that they're just coming out with. They've got quite a few uh, blends out there, and we really look forward to seeing um, how that uh, how that product uh, you know comes into the market. But we've got a uh, got some analogic uh, mineral dirt, and then some. Uh, protein blocks over there already and we're uh, feeding feeding the deer uh, the deer the uh, protein blockbuster so that's the uh, the jack uh, so just add corn and I add just a little bit of uh, corn with the oh, a bucket of that jack stuff and then um, I'll put it right on top of the protein block it just works great I mean the deer fly hammered I'll show you guys some pictures of that as well on this video um, and then uh, from there uh, you know what we're trying to do is we're trying to get these deer to come off that big food food uh or it's not food pot sorry they're trying to get the wood lot there into the food pot so this is actually what we call a staging plot and then back over here we've actually got a fairly good sized agriculture field that works out uh, really well um i will touch on our uh, fence system here for you guys uh what i use um as a gate it's a it's a pretty simple uh, aspect but um or strategy but all i've got is a cattle panel right through here i've got a t-post in the center i've got it wired up there works out really good i've used that for the last three years um and then i've got uh, some barbed wire you know stretch all the way across here and then one hot wire that goes all the way and i've got this uh solar panel um electric fence charger there and that that thing it'll do the job uh you know i'm no uh no farmer by any means um but if you're looking for a uh, you know a good deer hunting strategy i think this is one definitely to uh, keep in mind uh, something i am going to be trying this year is actually using the cattle uh stakes the ones that got like the uh, i can't remember exactly what they're called but they got the round thing at the top and you're staking them in the ground and then actually running um like the rope wire on several of my uh food pots um you know once it comes that uh, august time period we'll get in there we'll again use the uh, swisher brush hog and then use the workhorse sprayer get all that stuff killed out and be able to really just broadcast that seed all over the place and it ought to work out really good um so we'll uh, show you guys how this uh, swisher works a little bit better 
um, in regards to just cutting the rest of this path. Uh, like I said, you know, if you guys are looking to uh, get into the food plot or the, uh, you know, uh, brush hog there, uh, definitely check out the uh, Swisher products as well as the Analogic. We've got the Moultrie XA7000, uh, one of those running over here, the cellular cameras that just work phenomenal. And uh, I've got a redneck uh, blind sitting right over here that we're actually going to probably move over maybe in that brushy area right there and try to catch those deer crossing. They got a pretty good crossing right up in here and right there by, by those bigger bigger trees. Hopefully come in and uh, catch them catch them coming into the food pot later this fall and see if we can't harvest one of those guys. So uh, we'll leave you guys at that. Like always, best of luck on your guys' uh, upcoming hunting and fishing season. Hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature.